ask me something. Ask me anything you want. All right. How'd you get that fucked up scar up under your eye? I refer to that as my birthmark. On my eighth birthday, my father brought me a bulldog. A fat little bulldog. I named him Prince Henry Stout. He was strong. He would chase my pet turkey. He would chase squirrels up the tree. I trained him. I raised him. I fed him. I groomed him. I took care of him. I love that dog. I love that dog. More than anything in the world, I love that dog. My father gave me a handful of cherry bombs and M80s and said, you're going to train this dog to be a protector. So every Saturday afternoon, I got behind a little dummy my dad built, and I'd toss these cherry bombs and M80s at the dog. Boom, boom! That dog was scared at first, but after a while, he got angry, and he would come at the dummy. Wow! He'd get the dummy and rip it apart. Head was off, shirt was gone. So 13 years old, birthday time, got me a 12-gauge shotgun. <laughs> We're going hunting. I was so excited. We went out in the clearing in the woods. My dad laid his gun down, took my gun and laid it down and said, son, today you're going to learn to control your emotions. You're going to do things that some men are unable and unwilling to do. Follow me. I followed my dad. We went around a clump of trees. There's a little corral built. There's Prince Henry Stout chained in the middle of the corral. My dad took out a pocket full of cherry bombs and put them in my hand and said, get in the corral. Here's a lighter. I want you to light those cherry bombs and throw them at the prince. You're going to face manhood. You're going to fight that dog to the death. He's going to kill you or you're going to kill him. Now! <laughs> Boom! Yeah! He was on me. He was on me like flies on shit. I had no chance. I got my arm up between his teeth and my neck. Whomp! Went down in the mud. Rolled over. Rolled over. That dog is fighting and biting and scratching and kicking. And I'm screaming and crying. I'm grabbing him around the head. I stand up. <laughs> Fall with my weight on it. <laughs> Here's his neck break. He's dead. He's not breathing. He's not yelping. He's not biting. I'm covered with blood. I stand up, I wipe the blood off. I lick it. My dad says, welcome to manhood. That's why this is a birthmark. Do your patients know about this story? No, but you do.